Hello. It's Andrea Dancing Star. Hi, it's Andrea Dancing Star. It's very windy today. And I have the windows open, so it's very windy. We're going to read cards for the astrological sign of Foodie Beauty. Not Foodie Beauty. Foodie the Beauty. Let's see. This is purely for entertainment purposes. Purely for entertainment. This is just what my cards are telling me about that girl. She's in Thailand right now. She's been not going live. She's been not uploading vlogs for like two days, which is very odd for her, very peculiar for her. Um, because I'm pretty sure her whole entire life revolves around going live and eating. So I'm sure she's still eating. She did say that she was sick. It's my pure speculation that she's not really sick at all. She just doesn't want to have people telling her, wow, you're on vacation. Go do something besides spend $41 at the 7-Eleven. So let's see what's going on with her. How's she feeling right now? How's she feeling right now? How is she feeling right now? Let's see. Let's see. How is she feeling right now? How is she feeling right now? Ace of Pentacles reversed and death. Okay. That's not fun. That's like she's lost this opportunity. She's lost a lot of things because we've got this right here. Death. Not great. Not great. You know, it's an ending. It's ending. Something has ended. Money has ended. There's some kind of beautiful monetary opportunity that has ended. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more about Chantal. And this Ace of Pentacles reversed for how she's feeling. Judgment. Okay. The world. And again, death. You know, it's like it, it, someone with this opportunity, this money opportunity, this Ace of Pentacles opportunity. I don't know if this is a person, if this is a job, if this is all of her money. But there's definitely like someone has said this is done. Looked at this situation. Looked at this relationship not happening anymore like it's not working we're done it's not working we're done it's done it's not working anymore tell me more six of swords reversed and the three of swords okay so six of swords reversed not sailing home not going back to safety going back home also i mean three of swords is on the bottom of the deck which is kind of like that's third party involvement. That's like someone was in love with someone and someone and another person, a third party, put swords in, in this one person's heart. Complete broken heart. Third party involvement. Someone else is involved in this situation. Um, and also, you know, can't go home. Can't go back home. Also... I can tell you right now, she will probably never, ever, ever admit it. That she is, that maybe she's made poor choices. Um, I don't know if that's just like the pride in her or the oppositional defiance disorder within her that keeps her from admitting that she's like made a mistake, like she didn't make a good choice, but she won't ever do that. But I can tell you right now, she's feeling very alone. She's feeling very alone. She cannot communicate how she truly feels to anyone. I mean, and that's kind of like her doing, though. You know, she kind of created that environment for her, for herself. I, 
High Priestess, again, she shows up in every single one of her readings. She shows up in every single one of her readings. Temperance. Balancing of the situation. Harmony. There's a balance that's been brought. High Priestess sideways. I think it was in the last reading that I mentioned the High Priestess comes up all the time in her readings. And I was like, who is this? And I realized it's her. It's her. She doesn't speak. She knows what's really going on. She knows the truth, but she doesn't speak about the truth. She does not speak about it. She doesn't let anyone know about it. She's keeping mum when it comes to the actual truth of the situation of the matter. I don't think silence has been golden for her. I think that she probably thought it was golden, but it's turning out to not be because there's an ending of a brand new opportunity there's an ending of money. There's an, a heartbreak, a massive heartbreak. And it ending and her not having anyone to communicate to, not having anyone to turn to to help. I mean, that's, that sucks, but that's also... It's justice, you know? It's like she created this monster. And she knew that she was kind of doing this. She knew what she was doing. She just has a really hard time of actually accepting that the future is going to show up. You know? She lives kind of in this world where she actually probably thinks she probably never will die. She probably never will lose a foot. She probably never will be unwatched on YouTube. But the thing is, these things will happen. You know, she probably thought this will never end. You know, whatever situation she had going on that she didn't actually tell the truth about, she probably thought she would never lose it. But She's lost something. She's very much lost something. Um, and it really is like... I mean, this is just balance. This is balance of a very incredibly imbalanced situation. Let's see. So, what is going on with, with, with Salah, with Salad? What's going on with him? What's going on with him currently? What's going on with him in Kuwait? What's going on with him currently? Emperor reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords reversed. Okay. Well, um, I'm not totally sure exactly what all he says he has but I can tell you that everything that he says he has it is being made abundantly clear that he doesn't really have it like he doesn't really have this new business he doesn't really go to school he probably didn't really go to university he does not have this power he is not divine masculine He wants everyone to believe that about him, but it's not true. It's not true. And he's definitely not going to speak the truth. He's not going to tell the truth. He's going to gossip about it and lie about it. <sighs> it's also like 
he's gossiping about it. He's lying about it. He's telling other people how much power he has. He's telling other people all of the projects that he's creating, that he's working, he's learning, he's building new things, building new doorways to new avenues of life. But that's all a lie. What is he telling? What is he telling his, his wife? What is he telling his wife? Ten of Pentacles reversed, Three of Swords. I kind of feel like he's not telling his wife anything. I kind of feel like he's not telling his wife anything. He's not making any plans for the future. It's almost like ghosting. But I don't think he's completely ghosting her, but I don't think he's telling her the actual truth about anything, honestly. Like, there is no happily ever after home. There is no inheritance. There is no legacy. There is no massive savings account. There is no, like, safety that's coming from this secure family home. There is not that. There's heartbreak. But he's not telling her any of that. He's... He's just omitting. It's very surface level what he's telling her. What he's communicating with her. But he's not telling her the truth at all. He's really struggling. He's really tired of struggling. He's been tired of struggling. It's like he has to carry all of her weight everywhere. And also all of the dirty dishes and all of the trash in all of the empty takeout boxes and then he probably still has to do his laundry you know he has to like do all of this work in regards to her and he's just really over it like it's not it's not what he expected it's not what he thought would happen the hermit and the magician yeah he wants to be alone you know he wants to be alone he doesn't want to have to worry about his Miss Your Wife. It's too much. It's too much. It doesn't pay nearly enough for the amount of work. So, yeah. He's definitely trying to make it happen to where he can be on his own. Where he can be free. On his own. The Hierophant. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Here's a possibility that he actually, like, I know that she jokes about a second and third wife, but the cards say that there is a possibility that there really could be actually a first, a second, a third. There could be multiple, multiple wives. And if there is... If there is, that is the one that's actually going to be beneficial, financially beneficial. So what's going to happen whenever FTB gets back to Kuwait from Thailand? What's going to happen? Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Three of Wands upright. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of threes. There's a lot of threes in this situation. Three swords, three of wands. There's a lot of threes. So that's like, oh, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so Mr. and Mrs. Miss Yar Marriage. Canadian... Canadian Queen of Girl World and then the Syrian Refugee. True love. But then there's another person who's been in the mix of all of this. There's another person who has been in the mix of all of this. And I don't really know who this other person is. You know, um, is this wife one is this maybe wife two that was 
that was, you know, met after, after FTB. That plan is just not working. That plan is just not working. That partnership, that triple ship, you know, because it's three people. There are plans that they made. There is some kind of new plan that they were going to embark on. Some kind of new adventure. New, new, new opportunity. It's exciting. It's creative. That's not happening. That's not working out. The justice card is upright behind that. So it may even be like the laws there are are now like someone's breaking the law like things have to go back to the way that they're supposed to be legally like there there's this justice system influence that's dictating where this 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 endeavor with three people goes it's taking away money it's definitely taking away long-term money Money is being lost. That's the tower. That was the tower and the ten of wands. You know. Someone's trying to. Someone's trying to keep money. Someone's trying to make money. And someone is trying to avoid. Losing money. There's a big. Um, energy of avoiding. A tower moment. Of avoiding having some kind of catastrophe. Where it all comes tumbling down. There's also this sense of clarity that comes with, I mean, I'm going to say it's coming from Salah. You know, there's this clarity where he's realizing exactly where he can make money. That's all he cares about. That's all he cares about. He wants money. He wants success and he wants money. And he's realizing that he's, that's, that's not what he's getting in this relationship. That's not, that's not what's happening here. He's not achieving the success that he is desiring. So, yeah, I mean, it's just ending. It's just ending. It should be really interesting, the lives Unless, of course, she just doesn't go live and document any of this. But she still needs money. So I can't see where... I mean, this is her only job. It's her only job. She literally has no other ways of making money. Because we know she's not going to actually go out and work. There's no way. She can't. She physically cannot. Um... But man, I mean, it is, it's going to be really interesting because yeah, she's going to have to vlog this. She's going to have to go live. She's going to have to live stream this because she needs the views. She needs the money. She does. She needs a lot of money because she eats a lot. But this is all definitely ending. This fairy tale, if you could even remotely call it that, is ending. Okay. Well, that was interesting. That was entertaining. Um, thank you all for being here and I will see y'all in the next video.